Alright guys, this is NC Laxer one here. I'm going to show you my her hermit crab crab attack. Here, um, here's just a little outside view. I'll go inside and show you around a couple of huts here and stuff. Alright, let's go inside. Take a peek. Okay, here I have my hermit crab huts. Here's one I made today. It's a hermit um, crab hut and you they, we made it out of plastic. You can make it in a milk carton or any kind of plastic. Um, and yeah, they like to tend to hide away, so that's good. Um, we bought this at um, a local pet store. Um, it's it. This is usually the best kind because it it, it kind of gives more room, and I think it's great. But um, you can also make your own just to be a little crafty. Um, and yeah, and here you always want to have extra shells because the um because they usually get bigger and they molt. So just I just want to tell you about that. Here's um some drinking water. Um. Or salt water. This is where um, they go inside and they clean themselves because they use in the la um, land hermit crabs usually live in the wild and they like to clean themselves sometimes. Um, but some people think that they shouldn't be cleaned, but just let them clean whenever they want. Um, here I have my hermit crab food. Um, I like to use this kind of hermit crab food. Um, I got it at a beach shop in Hilton Head. Um, I think it's good. But there's all kinds of treats you can buy at your local pet store or something like that. Um, here I have my, um, I have uh, the drinking water. It's kind of a ramp. You can buy the ramp at a local pet store. Um, I use these. This is the yellow one to salt water. And this is the um, drinking water, the blue. Um, I put two drops in um, every time I clean, uh, clean it. And you, you should change the food and... Um, they're drinking or salt water. Um, change it. Uh, I would say weekly, but some people like to do it daily. But I kind of don't like to do that. Here, um, I like. I hear some sponges. I have two sponges in here. Um, I like to. Um, these are good for the hermit crabs because they can drink on it or they can play with it, and um, I think that's good for the hermit crabs just so they can have a little fun. Um, so yeah, change the sponges daily. And here I have um, a water uh, water uh, can that's um, that I use to spray inside of the tank daily because it gets really um, kind of not moist and it sucks up the air and they can't they'll suffocate. So I like to give them some moist air so they can breathe in their lungs. Um, here I have a crab, um, um, a crab heater, a hermit crab heater. Um, I would have it. Um, mu you must have it in the northern states and of the United States, but in the southern states, you should you should probably get it, but it won't be mandatory. Um, and I like to use um, this stuff, Eco Earth, because I think it's um, very good for the hermit crabs because it they like to dig. And I think you should have two to three inches right now. I don't have two to three inches because it's kind of, I'm um, just kind of, I just didn't put enough in today because my sister doesn't know too much about it. And um, you, I tend not to buy sand or gravel because the gravel, it's hard to clean out. And the sand, you lose a lot of sand when you clean it. Um, that's, okay, so that's about it. Um, um, tomorrow, oh no, and tomorrow... Um, I'm going to be getting, um, I might get another hermit crab or, um, or maybe I'll just get some more stuff for my 10 gallon tank and maybe I might get a new tank. Um, here I'll keep you one thing. Uh, here's Sam in here and, uh, Kenneth, he comes out, I, he kind of is kind of big. He doesn't look big in there, but he is and yeah, so, um, I'll keep you posted and, um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank, thank you for seeing my crab, um, hermit crab crabitat.